It's your favorite neighborhood trash panda. Hi. I'm making my second cup of coffee of the day as soon as I finish my last drag. And going to. I need a compost thing. There it is. Compost bowl. Because coffee grounds. That's for my coffee pot. So, Deb posted a question a few days back, weeks back, sometime back. At some point or another, it showed up in my feed and I noted that I needed to talk about it. Anyway, Deb posted a question about advice for alternate income streams when you're barely treading water. Um, how do you make more money? That kind of thing. I knew. <laughs> My advice is don't rely on one thing. Don't rely on two things. Always have things going. Always be working on things. One of the big socialist things, one of the big anarchist socialist alternative things is that your value is not determined, your societal value is not determined by your production. That's really great when you have a warm house and you have a spouse with a good income and you have plenty of food on the table. It's not great when you're hungry. It's not great when you're broke. I need to cook some lunch. It doesn't work when you're broke. It doesn't work when you're hungry. When you're hungry and you're broke and they're psychologically hungry and they're physically hungry. When you're hungry that's really loud. Um, your worth does feel like it's directly linked to your production. I do a large amount of make work. Plus and fiddles. A while back I was cutting scraps of walnut wood to eventually turn into earrings. Why? I don't wear earrings. My ear holes are, are sealed up. Because of, one of these days I'll sell them and I had the scraps then. I'm always disjointed and out of focus. I'm always looking at things. Okay. All of the cardboard boxes in the house that are blank on one side. Hold on one second. Yeah, that'll work. All of this. Okay. Because it's blank on one side. Gets held out of the trash, out of recycling, because. I have one of those stainless steel punch things that punches hang tags. So I have a thousand or so hang tags that have product on the other side, but that's fine. Okay, for selling yard sale, flea market, thrift story kind of stuff, art fairs, that kind of stuff. Because why should I pay for tags if I can make tags? And if it's an ornamental box, all the better because then I have an ornamental tag. Plus with my fluid acrylic pours I will pour onto paper and make tags on paper with art on the back for the fancier places. Lunch is just gluten-free pasta and I'll probably throw some cheese on it. I was gonna have leftover pumpkin cheesecakey stuff but somebody ate it for breakfast. This has got like three la layers of plastic. I hate multiple layers of plastic, especially since I'm going to have to put it into plastic to keep it. Because it's not... This can... Yeah. It's either going to have to go into a Ziploc or into a glass jar. Let me see. Ha! <laughs> Noodles. 
These are fine rice vermicella with magenta leaf flavor and color. I have no idea what magenta leaf flavor and color is. Chances are I bought it because it was on sale. I bought it because it was a dollar. And it was a dollar for 12 ounces, ready in four minutes, gluten free. Um, so it says, okay, this is the kind you're supposed to, this may not be what I thought it was. Hold on one second while I read this. It says, prepare one colander and two basins, the same size or larger, and a water kettle. Stack the dry rice from a chili into the colander up to 10 pieces per stack. Place the colander in one of the basins. Fill the other basin with cold water. Boil water in the kettle and pour fully boiled water over the colander with the stacked vermicelli until they are fully submerged for 1 minute and 15 seconds. Do not submerge them for more than 1 minute and 15 seconds. Remove the colander with the rice vermicelli from the basin of hot water and immediately place into the cold water for two seconds, no longer than two seconds. Then remove the colander from the cool water basin and drain the excess water out and prepare it with oil and vinegar. It is now ready to use with your choice of vegetables. So this is not the kind of vermicelli I thought it was. This is the kind for putting in the center of spring rolls. So I'm going to put this back in the package and after lunch I will process it into a container that's long-term storage and plan to make spring rolls next week. And in the meantime i got to find a noodle to eat for lunch today. Uh, These are what I normally go with. If you look, each one is a serving. Teach me to try something different. Okay, going back to... Obviously my thought process is a bit slow today. Obviously. How to make more money. Where you're at affects that. Dubs in Hawaii. There's no tourist business right now. Looks like it's coming back soon, but there's no tourist business right now. That sucks. That really, really sucks. I mean, I understand why there's no tourist business, but that sucks. The pot has floaty things. The pot, a clean pot that just got washed has floaty things, and I'm trying to decide if they're floaty things I need to throw out and start over again, or if they're floaty things that are okay. Is there a reason this pot's not clean? Anyway, I'm going to give up on lunch at this point because I have this thing about multiple resistances in a row tell you that there's a problem and you need to rethink what you're doing. Let me see if I can bring you down so you can see. This is supposed to be a clean pot. Okay. Can you see the floaty things? I don't know if you can or not. I don't know if you can see them or not. I'll check the video afterwards. How do you make money when you're flat? Things I've always done good with. People move out of their apartments between the 27th and the 3rd. People moving out in a hurry leave stuff behind. It gets put beside the dumpster. It doesn't get put in the dumpster. If you have a vehicle, you can go through those boxes. Do it politely or the management will come out and yell at you. And in a small town, they'll really come out and yell at you. But you can get a large amount of stuff for consignment stores. Baby clothes, books, um, cleaning supplies, actually. People will leave vacuum cleaners that work just fine behind. People leave all kinds of stuff behind. 
that can get cleaned up and resold, thrift stored and yard sale. Done that for years at a time. After that, printing out a single sheet flyer saying, let me mow your lawn with a push mower has been a money maker. You just go around, you knock on the door, hi, doing push mowers, want me to do your front yard? And the trick with this is only offer to do the front yard because there's dog shit in the backyard. Um, and I'll get to that in a second. And you can see the front yard. You can see what you're committing to. I'll mow your front yard for 20 bucks. Oh, well, will you mow my backyard for 20 bucks? Well, let's take a look at it. No, honey, that's 250 bucks. Yeah, they know how much more it costs. Dog shit. I, for a year and a half, had a flyer, let me clean your dog shit. Once a week, I'll come by and pick up all the dog shit in your yard for 20 bucks. You have to see the yard before you do the offer. You know, you look at one yard and it's huge and they've got two St. Bernards barking at the fence. You just keep walking. You go to the next yard and they got a little chihuahua going burf, 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 and the yard's small. You walk up and you leave the flyer. Used to make good money doing that. Um, My attitude in life has always been more about not spending money than making money because making money is never a guarantee. There's some weirdo walking by out front. Um, sorry, there was a guy in a half of a suit holding his tie in his hand walking by out front with a mask on. I was trying to see if he was coming up the walk. It's not our kind of neighborhood. I don't know who he is. Anyway, it's easier to save money than it is to make money. Yeah, that's the steam from my water that I turned off, and I don't know why it's continuing to steam because I turned the wrong burner off. There's floaty things in my water. I wouldn't care about the floaty things because they're probably leftover pasta from the last time I used the pan and it didn't actually get cleaned, but it's vaguely possible that there's soap in there. So I want to rinse it before I use it, which means I've got to dump the water out, wipe it down, and rinse it and everything, and it's just kind of really annoying. Because it obviously wasn't clean, and it just got set aside into the clean pile, and that's really annoying. That's for the husband who watches these. Really annoying. Anyway, it's been 12 minutes. I'll give it some more thought and come back when I have more of brain space, because I'm obviously disjointed right now. One of the nice things about these videos is they're letting me see when I'm having fades. I had two absence seizures that I know of yesterday. Um, absence seizures, you stay functional throughout them, or semi-functional throughout them. You don't notice there's anything wrong, but you lose time because it doesn't get into the long-term memory. I had two gaps in my memory yesterday where I just went, whoa, how did three hours just go away? You know, which means I'm a little foggy today and I probably need to start seizure meds again, but we're going to give it a day and see. I'll talk to you later. Bye bye.